The race is on for Milledgeville Mayor, as incumbent Gary Thrower has a challenger. I met with both candidates ahead of Tuesday's election to look back on the past couple of years and find out what's on both of their platforms. Milledgeville Mayor Gary Thrower facing a challenge after a little more than two years on the job. As far as I can tell, it's turned out to be fairly rewarding. His foe, an outsider by the name of Mary Parham Copeland. Actually, I'm a native, 51 years, never left. Two lifelong Milledgeville residents. I've spent my entire life loving this community. I uh, educated here, uh, played rec ball here, played high school ball here, went to college here. Mayor Thrower is proud of his two years, going from an outsider himself to an insider. It's just, uh, it's a lot. You know, I've gained a lot of experience in those two years, and it's invaluable. He's being challenged by Copeland, who has done seemingly a little bit of everything. She's worked in retail, the school district, she's a pastor, and also works in real estate. Vast plethora of job performances on my resume. Uh, I share with most people that it brings a natural skill. Two things on her platform. First, communication, which she says was lacking during a series of water main breaks and boiled water advisories. Uh, my plans are to make sure that we put those elements in place, that we will be able to make sure we communicate communicate with the community uh, at a, in a more, I would say, a, in a timely manner. Second, she wants to prioritize job creation, particularly for the residents of Milledgeville rather than the college students of Milledgeville. I've got a chance to speak with many people. I've heard all of their issues and their concerns, and I want to put them on the plate. I want to make sure that I take them back to the city council member, uh, to the city manager, to make sure that we are doing just what we've been elected to do. When Mayor Thrower looks back on the water crisis, he sees it a little differently. I'm actually proud of the way we handled some diversity. We were uh, did a great job of communicating the issue and, and uh, making people understand what was going on and uh, what their timeline would be back for getting back their service. Thrower even slept in his truck on scene when crews were fixing a break overnight. The only reason I stayed that night was I was, I was interested in the process. I mean, I, I know these guys had been out night after night, day after day, digging in wet mud, trying to you know, resolve these situations. I wanted to see firsthand what they went through. The current mayor with hopes the water crises are behind the city. He's saying now how important it is that he's made good relationships with councilmen and state representatives. When we go to Atlanta, when we go and make asks for economic development and things of this nature, it's, it's always nice that those representation, the representation in Atlanta, get to know faces and names. Both Mayor Thrower and Parham Copeland with relatively similar things on their platforms. The only difference, that each want to lead the charge. We're looking forward to being victorious, and I believe we have the city. I think they're ready. They're ready for a change. Mayor Thrower has been mayor for two and a half years. He narrowly won a special election after the former mayor resigned. Election day is Tuesday.